Hi Stacey. I've really enjoyed my morning with Hugh here at, at Broom Grove and um, I've watched you teach reception this morning. Um, and amazingly, your your little reception children, now I'm one of my only two terms, yeah. so not, we haven't even been here a year, I've watched them making tunes on the board, they can recognise those notes, they can clap the rhythms, they, they can play the music. Mm -hmm. I, I saw some children they were making a three note tune, they knew how to structure that, they chose the right chime bars. How do you think Stave House has enhanced the music teaching for reception in your school? Would you be, have been doing that kind of thing without Stave House? No, perhaps it wouldn't have happened without Stave House. They wouldn't have even attempted to play a tuned instrument without Stave House first. Right. So they identify with those characters, they get into the story of the house and they love them. So from the very beginning, we just develop a love for all those animals. So that's actually really crucial, isn't yeah. it? It's not just about going, oh, here's a note. No. It's about building a story, building a yeah. story world and yeah. bringing those characters to life first. Yeah. So Stave House isn't really a formula for notation. It's more about creating an imaginary yeah, world. Absolutely. And, and that, you find, then helps the children to engage with those yeah, because then they we're encouraging them then to make their own stories with those characters, and because they know them so well, yeah. they can quite easily use their imaginations and make make a little three note tune using those characters, making up something funny that the characters doing, and they just identify with it. Yeah, and then it, it's they don't feel like they're doing something difficult. It just feels like they're doing something fun. Very natural. Yeah, yeah. and then they are able to recognise the notes on their chime bars from their pictures. We've done it so many times yeah. in different ways uh -huh. that they've just, it's become part of their knowledge. They don't even need to think hard, they can just quickly bring and, that information And so it's actually around. the storytelling and, and the games, that's almost a very old kind of cultural way of sharing yeah. information with children yeah. um, from, from our ancestors really. And, and so it's, it's that kind of storytelling yeah. approach that we use in students. Um, do you still feel it builds with really good musical skills or is it just about playing and... and oh no, it's definitely building the sense of timing from the beginning as soon as you introduce that father crotchet and that walk we're just bringing in that lovely steady rhythm and they, they, they were showing me their yeah. minim and their semi breathing and they're all counting correctly yeah. and they've got that kind of intrinsic body movement and we'll do a lot of swaying and rocking and that just all helps them to build that musical mm. foundation but then we build on all three you said one and two I was going to say because interestingly a lot of people think oh Stave House you know early years kindergarten music but in fact you you are using Stave House aren't you for, for much older yeah. children here and, and I saw some fantastic work from year two they've been um, designing stories, yeah. beautiful stories. So there's there's a literacy link there. Yeah. Um, what what were you doing there? Was so it... with the picture book stories. Mm. So Year Six have written and illustrated with the picture book stories with reception of the audience. Oh, so brilliant. I make Year Six become the teacher. So yeah. I don't. They don't feel I'm not patronising and saying this is a fox, this is an ant. Mm. They are the teachers, and they're developing a resource to take to reception, and we've drawn those pic we've learnt the story, draw and write the, write the story, then we take it to reception, we visit. Year six oh, visit reception. Does that go down well? Does that work They well? love it. And they yeah. take the boards and the magnets and they play games with reception. Do children. they? And they actually demonstrate yeah. it. Oh, that's and then good. both sets of children are learning. Yes. But in a totally different way. Yeah. And it just solidifies that information and then it gives us the literacy link as well. Yeah. And and in the middle there we had um with the basic of ocean story, they yeah. designed their swimwear to go down into the basic yeah. of ocean. Was that a year two that work? Year three. Year three. So we key stage two at the moment we introduced base clef. Yeah. And this is the first time I've taught the base clef in my uh, this is my fourth year here, so this is the first time we've done base clef. It's gone down really well. We've okay. really got into the story. So we had a, a stave picture and a little body and we imagine that that's ourselves standing in the ocean. And what can you see just on, 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 the, on the top of the sea? Oh, there's a bubble. Yeah. Let's pop the bubble. Yeah. So a little bit of role play yeah. as well, a bit of drama. Yeah. So as a music coordinator, coordinator Stacey, um, th there are loads of music methods obviously out there mm -hmm. for schools. Why did why have you chosen Stave House and why are you sticking with Stave House for Green Road? Lot, there are lots of reasons why I like Stave House. It's 
absolutely brilliant if you've got children in school that are not all English speakers as a first language right. because it's all pictorial so they are watching and putting the pictures onto the boards they don't need to be able to say the words straight mm -hmm. away and actually they come quite quickly the words yeah. they come quite quickly yeah. um, and they can look at the pictures of the rhythm family and they can copy and understand build a rhythm pattern even without having the language skills yet so that's really important um, also, children with special educational needs, it's really kinesthetic, so it's appealing to all types of learning styles. We're, do we're doing, we're seeing, we're hearing, so it's, it's using all our senses. Um, and just the fact that the children are so engaged in the story. So I could start at reception, but we build on it. So in year two, I'll say, oh, something really exciting today a new part of the story yes. and they remember the and beginning. it's all connected and it's building yeah and then base play motion wow did you know there's a whole hidden world under the house it's really exciting we know where sea we know about sea searcher he's in the middle between the two zones of the house and yeah. the sea that's why he's in the sea oh and look what we can discover and then wow there's and a whole new go. part of the story and that becomes quite exciting yeah, and it's something new. i often have children going oh who's this so all oh, we're not talking about that yeah. yet and it comes Bring it in a surprise. And standard of music, do you think it's had a knock-on effect on the standard of music yeah, education absolutely. generally? All the children at the infants leave being able to read and play from standard notation, very simple pieces of music and they can compose, play, play those. And then they leave key stage two being able to read and write more complex uh -huh. things. So year six have just composed 16 bar piece based on the elements so we've done air water earth fire mm -hmm. used we've now gone on to using tide notes none of that would have been possible without the foundation that they started of knowing basic beats and rhythms and building up with their state house knowledge oh, thank you that's that's really exciting would you advocate that state yeah, house would be used as a resource generally yeah, absolutely it's, it appeals to every child and every type of learner uh -huh. and it builds a really solid foundation for their learning classical music which then the children just build upon and build upon and even if they never see a private music teacher in their lives no, it doesn't matter they've yeah. got those skills and yeah. they can transfer them to any and instrument. they can actually still take the london college of music state house awards, awards which means it's the only time a child that doesn't have a private music lesson can take a music yeah. exam yeah. and get a, a bona fide university yeah. accredited college certificate yeah. for a music exam which is a wonderful thing yeah. for them to have and they, and they enjoy taking the assessment right because it's just part of the fun that we have in music yeah. all the time it's nothing no pressure pressured. no it's very stress free and they're so proud to get the certificate so beautiful they're so proud a beautiful watermark yeah, yeah. six seven year old with their first yeah, music absolutely amazing. this is stacy minchell she's the music coordinator at broom grove primary and also the juniors broom grove juniors and that's in Wivenhoe in Colchester, Essex in England. Thank you, Stacey. Mm -hmm.